Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Nexus Core. And today we're going to be talking about the Dragon Empire reveals from Bushy Roads to Livestream on March 22nd. And we got Dragonic Overlord the End skill revealed from DBT05. We also got Burning Horn Dragon, a new type of heal trigger that it seems that every nation is going to be getting, but we just have the picture art for Dragon Empire. So we're going to talk about that, as well as a new type of heal trigger we're going to be seeing in the Festival collection as well. So let's just go ahead and go right into the card abilities for Overlord and Burning Horn Dragon. Starting off, Dragonic Overlord the End's first skill is a continuous skill. During your turn, if you have Dragonic Overlord in your soul, this unit's drive cannot decrease from card effects and it gets an additional 5,000 power. So that's really helpful right from the get-go considering that the second skill does reduce the drive, but let's go ahead and keep going. At the end of the battle that this unit attacked, Counterblast 1, discard two cards from your hand, stand this unit, and it gets drive minus one until the end of the turn. What I really like about this card is just the fact that you don't have to attack a rear guard, which is consistent with previous versions of the end as well, but also the fact fact that you do have the option where you don't have to lose the extra drive if you keep Dragonic Overlord in the soul. The discarding two cards does seem like a lot, but it does seem fair considering the fact that you are going to restand and still keep your twin drive if Overlord is in your soul. The first thing that comes to mind with this is that you're probably not going to be running Overlord the end in your ride deck because you want to have Overlord in your soul ready to go just right away for when you ride the end on top of it. But if we do see some more support where it makes it easier to put units into the soul like we saw with with Nemen from Phantom Blaster Overlord. You can just put Phantom Blaster Dragon to the soul. So maybe if we see some support like that, there might be a reason to keep Overlord the end in your ride deck. Moving on to Burning Horn Dragon. First skill of Burning Horn Dragon is auto when it's placed on the rear guard circle. You kind of blast one, look at the top seven cards of your deck, reveal one Overlord, put it in your hand. And if you didn't reveal an Overlord, you get the counter charge, meaning you can get that counter blast back. The second skill is when your Overlord Vanguard attacks, it gets an extra 5,000 power until the end of the turn. What I like about the second skill a lot is that it's not once per turn, meaning that when your overlord restands either the end or the original one, it's going to be plus 10,000 power. That's going to make a really big difference for the Overlord deck, considering both Berserk Dragon and Nahalem only gain 5k, making them 15k beaters. Burning Horn being a 20k beater, on top of the fact that it searches out copies of Overlord for you, is very helpful for the deck. And I especially like the fact that even if you miss the search, you can still get that counter charge back. Moving on to the new heal triggers that we're going to be seeing from DBT05. This is Stealth Fiend Amavera. And before I go into the skill, I believe that every nation is going to be getting a heal trigger of the exact same skill. This is just the one that we got to see revealed during the live stream for Dragon Empire. The skill is auto when it's placed on the Guardian Circle. If your opponent's attacking unit has attacked two or more times this turn, this unit gets plus 15,000 shield until the end of the battle, and it's active if it's the second battle on the turn or more. My first thought with this card is that there aren't a lot of units that do multi-attacking on their own, but there are a lot of decks that do support restanding units and being able to attack multiple times. First thing that comes to mind are decks like Bastion and Bruce, in which you're restanding rear guards. That way, this card can definitely be very helpful against those decks. However, certain decks that don't restand units, such as Baz Varga and Barrow Magnes, I feel like this card could definitely be a miss, especially considering the fact that these heal triggers by default have only 10,000 shield instead of the 15,000 that we see in the vanilla heal triggers. So I'm not exactly sure how much of an impact these type of heals are going to make. However, I do feel like this isn't a strict upgrade. It seems like it's going to be kind of like a, oh, should I run two of the vanilla heal? Should I run two of the new heal? Either way, I'm not very excited for these heals at the moment because so far they don't seem that great. But we'll just have to wait and see once these cards are released, how the meta is looking and how often people are gonna be using these new heals. Speaking of new heals, in Festival Collection, we're getting additional heals as well. So for this one, we see Dragon Empire again. I do believe that every nation is gonna be getting a copy of a heal with the same skill as well. So starting off with Cure Flare Draco Kid, when this is placed on the guard circle, if the attack unit's critical, is two or greater and its critical is increased by a card ability other than triggers or its original crit is two or greater this gets an extra 15 shield so to summarize it's basically if a unit is gaining a crit by an ability such as with bruce there's a grade three that increases the vanguard's crit or if the original crit on the unit is two such as we see with v series dungaree you can apply the extra 15k shield i'm still also not exactly sure 
if this is also just as helpful because it would be nice to be able to get something kind of like we see the heal guardians in v series where it reduces the crit regardless if it's been increased or if the value of the crit is two or greater it just reduces the crit as long as you haven't been on a grade three this turn so kind of summarizing with both of these new heal triggers for d series they seem kind of underwhelming at first glance but of course they are still better than just your traditional vanilla heal trigger so they can come up and see play in certain points and aspects i do like to see bushy making an attempt to create more interaction with defensive plays and incorporating the heal triggers as more of a defensive card like how we saw with g guardians and heal guardians but these just overall just seem kind of underwhelming in my own personal opinion that's it for today's video guys thanks again for watching let me know what you guys think of the new heal triggers and the new overlord support in the comments section below i'm richard and i'll see you all in the next one bye Mm-hmm.